This week on another episode of Send It, we are giving you a preview of this week's LPGA KPMG PGA Championship hosted at Aronomic. Well, this week I've got Alex Maselli here, and we're going to go ahead and dive in. And Alex, what do you think makes this course so special um, as the ladies will be performing this week? Well, you know, I, I was just talking to some of the people from KPMG, and their goal with this event has always been to try to uh, equalize what the women are playing at, the events, the venues they're playing at, as well as the men, and to make the setup a, a more of a traditional setup like the men play in major championships, which this is one of them. So this golf course, if you look around, it is definitely uh, a major championship venue. They've had PGA championships here. It does, um, it does what you're trying to do. You're trying to identify the best player. This is what a course like this does. It's not one of those places where you can just hit it anywhere. You have to really be in control of your golf ball. Uh, it's gonna be a little longer for the women than normally they would play. But yet at the same time, it's going to really uh, determine who the best players are this week. And so I think um, that's the kind of venue they're trying to find. And so um, I think in, I think if you look at the KPMG list of courses they're going to, you know, next, next year they're going to Atlanta, Atlanta Athletic Club. Again, a major venue. So that's, that's the type of thing that they're trying to, they're trying to do and uh, trying to just by identifying the best players. Yeah, I'm really excited to watch the girls play on this course, especially uh, to watch them around the greens and on the greens. Um, from what I've heard, you know, there's a lot of undulation, um, tricky putts. But I think one of the best things that I've heard um, with this being a Donald Ross course was the quote that he has about this course is, I intended to make this my masterpiece, but not until today did I realize I built this better than I knew. And I think that says a lot to what KPMG is doing um, in making this one of the most elite um, tournaments for the girls to play. Um, and speaking of the girls, what do you think, or who do you think is going to take the trophy home or going to be in the top 10 this week? Well, you know, I think it's interesting. Um, I don't cover a lot of women's golf. The last event I went to was the Solheim Cup. But there's 100, I think, 32 women here this week. And you could start with Mel Reed, who won last week. You could start with Stacey Lewis. You could look at Danielle Kang. You could look at um, so many different women that are here. And um, I, think, I think what you're going to find is, like in a lot of majors, you're going to find somebody that, just kind of this this place kind of um, they like the they like the, the line of it off the tee they like their eye off the tee on the courses or they like the ability to be able to do some things um, around the greens that they can't do at a normal venue it's going to be something that they really liked about the golf course and that's going to translate into a, a good score and I would say that anybody that plays well the first day I would say that they will likely be there in the hunt at the end just because. It's one of those venues where you can't just go out and shoot 76 a month on Thursday and then shoot 60, 66 on, on Friday. If you, if you don't shoot a, well, a good score on, on Thursday, you're not going to turn around and shoot some great score on Friday. You know, I think a European player would do well here because it's going to be cool. It's going to be windy. Um, these are fall conditions here, which normally this venue is, event is played in June. So I think there's going to be a lot, uh, a lot to – winning here this week and you know even with the cold the coolness you know the ball is just not going to go as far as well and those are things these are all the things that the women um haven't had to really deal with because let's be honest by now the major season's over and usually the lpga or the pj tour are playing in places where it's warm so you're not dealing with this cool atmosphere and you know leaves on the ground and all that other kind of stuff these are all uh, aspects that they're going to have to deal with this week yeah i'm really excited i do think that European players are going to have a little bit of a leg up. I'm excited to see what Mel Reed's going to do coming right off of her win. Um, of course, Georgia Hall just had a win. But also looking at those KPMG players um, like a Stacey Lewis, um, I'm excited to see what those women are going to do. I think it's going to be a great event. We're going to see a lot of different shots that we don't normally get to see. And you get to see them right in front of you since you're there at the tournament. Thanks so much for a piece of your time this week and make sure you guys catch in on another episode of send it send it